In this video, we are going to talk about a mechanics problem. It appeared in one of the recent exams, June 2009, the further maths paper, subject code 9231. Uh, paper 2, this was question number 1 on the exam. Let's discuss it, talk about the main ideas and how we go about solving the problem. We have a line OP of fixed length L. It rotates in a plane about the fixed point O. So I've drawn a picture here so that we can uh, follow this picture as we read the question. We have a line OP that I've indicated and then uh, of fixed length L and it uh, rotates about this fixed point O. Great. At time t equals to zero, the line is at the position OA. I've also indicated OA. At time t, angle AOP equals theta. So here we have it, AOP is theta. And we are given d theta dt equals sine theta. Show that for all t, the magnitude of the acceleration of P is equal to the magnitude of its velocity. So that's the question. So looking at the problem, let's talk about a few things first. We are dealing with circular motion. Uh, the radius here in this case will be L. So let's write down some facts. The radius of the circle will be L. And we are given d theta dt. What is d theta dt? Yes, that's the angular velocity. So we are given omega which is d theta dt and we are given that as equals to sine theta. So we have r which is L and we have omega which is sine theta. Now what are we asked to find? We are asked to find the magnitude of the acceleration of a point on the circumference of the circle and that point is P. So here we have it. Great. This acceleration has two components. Okay, The acceleration of P has two components. One I've indicated for you here is the tangential component A sub T, the tangential component. And the other component is A sub R, the radial component which is towards the center of the circle. Okay, this acceleration of P has two components, one which is tangential, A sub T, and one which is radial, which is towards the center of the circle, let's call it AR. So what we have to do is find the two components and then use Pythagoras theorem and find the magnitude. So that's all we have to do. Okay, let's start with V. Okay, let's start with V first. What is V? V is your linear speed or if you like you can call it the linear velocity. So V will be equals to R omega. Okay, so the linear speed is V, uh, omega is your angular velocity, your angular speed and R is your radius. So in this case R we know is L, omega we know is sine theta. So let's keep it there. Okay, we know V is L sine theta. Now let's talk about let's talk about AR first. Okay, A sub R which is your radial component. It is given as R omega squared. That's the formula you'll find in most mechanics textbooks, R omega squared. So we can, this is the formula you'll see. So let's plug in. Uh, what is R? We know R is L. What is omega? Sine theta. So we can write sine theta squared. So we have L sine squared theta. So now we have the radial component already. Now let's sort out our a sub t, the tangential component. What is that? That's given as dv dt. Okay? So dv dt, let's do that here and then I'll write it down there. Okay? We know v equals to, follow this carefully here, yeah? v equals to, we know is L sine theta. That's from here. Yeah? Okay? We know v is L sine theta. So let's differentiate V with respect to T. Be careful, this is uh, implicit differentiation. So 
let's differentiate with respect to t so we can write dv dt equals as a constant so that's okay when you differentiate sine theta you will get cos theta don't forget we are differentiating implicitly so we have to multiply by d theta dt so now we can write l cos theta what is d theta dt yeah we have it yeah it's sine theta so now we can write a sub t as equals to l cos theta sine theta the major portion of our work is done okay so we have a sub r the radial component l sine square theta and the tangential component of our acceleration a sub t which is l cos theta sine theta now all we have to do is because they want the magnitude of the acceleration we have the components which are mutually perpendicular to each other so we can use uh, Pythagoras theorem so let's do that yeah? the magnitude of the acceleration let's use this okay let's just write magnitude of the acceleration okay will be equals to the square root of a r squared plus a t squared again we are trying to find the magnitude of the acceleration so I have indicated this as magnitude of the acceleration okay this notation I am sure you are familiar with it which will be equal to the square root of a r squared plus a t squared what is the idea we are using here Pythagoras theorem yeah? so let's write it down what is a r squared okay a sub r squared this is l sine squared theta holding squared good what is a sub t squared let's write it down l cos theta sine theta whole thing squared let me extend this square root symbol a little bit okay again we have a sub r will be l sine squared theta we are squaring it and we have a sub t which is l cos theta sine theta and we are squaring that as well so let me just erase this part okay so that we can uh, write some working here let's swing this up here so let's write it down okay we have l sine squared theta holding squared so you will get l squared sine to the power of 4 theta that's good and when you clean this up you will get l squared cos squared theta sine squared theta okay I'm just squaring uh, both these terms that's about it so let's clean this up okay let's take out l squared and let's take out sine squared theta okay taking out is referred to as factorizing yeah? take out l squared sine squared so in your brackets here you will get l squared excuse me sine squared theta plus cos squared theta okay look at it carefully uh, I have l squared here and l squared here I have taken l squared out I have sine to the power 4 and sine squared I have taken out uh, sine squared so I am left with sine squared theta here <coughs> excuse me and I have cos squared theta. What is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta? 1. Okay. So this one here is 1. So what are we left with? We are left with the square root of L squared sine squared theta which is L sine theta. Now, this is the magnitude of the acceleration L sine theta and what is this? Yes. The velocity is L sine theta. So we have shown that the magnitude of the acceleration is equal to the magnitude of the velocity and we are done.